Hey guys, today I'm gonna be one of those random people that gives you tips on what to do. Um, I know there's already a lot of videos like that around, um, but I haven't really found many of them helpful. Um, some of them, well, most of them are just trying to sell you a product, and I won't be doing that with you today. Gosh. This park is usually like totally fine on bugs, and I don't have to use bug spray or anything, but today they're being pretty nasty. Um, so today is going to just some tips for running with your dog and by the end of it you're going to be like what she didn't tell me anything and then the tips are, are a little ironic today running with your dog because i don't exactly have two dogs with me today and i have a cheetah and a wolf Hey, Amy, look at me. Amy! She says she is the sun goddess and she has no time for petty humans. I do have my mask with me today. Um, this can be a busier park and some of the places on the trail, it's a little bit more difficult to get over six feet and give yourself space. Um, so, got this and just in case I need to pull it up. I mean, it's not great. Mask hygiene but we're outdoors. So first tip, and pretty much my only tip, is just be consistent with your dog. Take them out multiple times a week. Once a week ain't gonna cut it. A week ain't gonna cut it. You need to be consistent with what you expect from your dog. That's going to take months for some of them. Maybe even more like a year. If there's something they're bad at, like chasing squirrels or deer, go to parks where you know you're gonna see those squirrels and deer all the time. First thing we wanna do when you get out with your dog, give them a time to potty, okay? My, our time for them is they know when we're walking, they're allowed to sniff, pee, go poop if they need to. Um, I already had to clean up one of his, which leads me to bags. Make sure you bring dog bags. And if you're out in the middle of nowhere where there's not a trash can, make sure you have something to carry it out with you. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a trail and there are dog bags, dog poop bags, just tossed over into the woods. Come on guys. And then with that pottying issue, they're during my warm up and my cool down. They can get a little obnoxious, but that's what I've given them. I've told them, you know, it's okay to potty when we're walking. But once we're running, we keep going. Because I know that's a lot, a big issue for a lot of people. They don't run with their dog. They think running with their dog is crazy because they constantly have to stop for their dog to pee or for their dog to poop. But after a while, your dog will come to realize that, oh, running is work. Running means go. Running does not mean we get to stop every five seconds to pee on that tree. Now decide if you want your dog to pull or not. Decide if you want to do cane across, which then you'll need to get a proper harness and bungee leash and harness for yourself. Or decide if you just, you know, want to jog with your dog, have your dog run by your side without pulling. Um, some dogs are tough to train, okay? But there's no magic tool. The only thing I can say is do not, under any circumstances, get one of those no-pull harnesses that go across your dog's shoulders. That is asking for trouble and issues down the line with muscles and joints and just overall coordination. I mean, try to tying a strap around your arms that hold your arms in while you're running and tell me that's not going to cause you issues okay okay the other thing would be head halters i would not run your dog in one of those they can be a great tool for training for walking loose lead but with the head halter it being on your dog's head it can interfere with their neck should something happen like say they see a squirrel and they charge to the squirrel and have a little slack in their lead, they can seriously injure themselves. Okay, a lot of people say you have to run your dog in a harness all the time. I don't do that. When we're just going easy days, if they're not free running, they're on their martingale collars, wider collars, just anti-slip, that's all they are. They are not correction collars. That is like my pet peeve, oh my God. Um, they're just, collar. Hey puppy, come here. That is nice and loose, but 
should they pull to slip out of it, it tightens up just enough that it doesn't go over their head. And that's with these guys as they got tiny heads. Oh, and I almost forgot when it comes in regards to gear. Do not use a flexi. If you're in a place where there's other people, do not use a flexi. I occasionally will use them on trails where they're not allowed off lead and where I'm not likely to pass anybody. But for the most part, they're healing next to me anyway. The only time sometimes they'll stop in front of a tree, pee on the tree, then catch up to me on the flexi. But I've seen it's happened to us. I may even include the video here where we were biking and we were passing somebody from behind on a flexi and I called out to him multiple times about a dog passing. And then his dog jerked towards us on the end of the flexi, gave him so much leverage, and the dog got loose from him. That was fun. So that leads me to my other thing is be aware of your surroundings. If you haven't uh, noticed, I'm wearing, um, I think they're called Aeropex or something. Um, but if you listen to music while you're running, make sure you can hear people coming up around you. I mean, that's for all running. You should, shouldn't have your earbuds in so high that you can't hear people calling to you can't tell you how many times I've startled a runner because their headphones are in they don't hear me coming and then two dogs blast past them it's like I tried I tried um, and that's especially clue with dogs especially if your dog's a little bit reactive to things make sure you know what's around you you don't want to be the pain on the trail to make dogs completely banned as that happens too often and so if you're choosing somewhere to free run them make sure it's legal wherever you're at, make sure your dog's recall is rock solid. If your dog's going to ignore you and run up to another dog, do not let them off leash, they're not ready. If you find a place where you can, nice and fenced, where, or long line and train your dog through all sorts of distractions. Um, he made me super proud the other day. We ended up passing two separate incidents of a deer and I called him off them, told him to leave it, and he did. And then we had a party. And I was telling you, if you want to get your dog good with stuff, get him around that thing more often. Heat stroke is a very real threat to your dog. Heat exhaustion, watch out for it. Learn the signs, know what to look for. If you're even 
questioning taking them for this run with you, don't do it. I never run on asphalt, but that's another thing to watch out for. Um, you can run your dog on asphalt on occasion. Just watch out for their joints, make sure it's not too terribly long, and watch for their paw pads. Um, asphalt can get really hot, it's also very abrasive. Um, I know Loki, my cheetah today, he often can tear his paw pads pretty easy. Um, he's not as rough and he hasn't roughened up his paws as much as uh, my other one has. So I watch where I run him. Um, I won't take him on certain trails with me anymore and I like to take him more on grass or soft turf just so he doesn't have issues. And I told you this wouldn't be a product placement ad. Okay, run your dog in whatever you got. Uh, if it's a flat collar and a leash, run them in it. I mean, hand free is gonna be a lot easier. But that, and then can across style, if your dog pulls, is great. Um, but can across style also means you need a lot of training since your dog is out in front of you. You don't want to come across something else in front of you and your dog to be, what, four to six feet away from you and have no control. That's just asking for trouble. Now math has me going, Mathetone has me going so slow for most of my training, I would go nuts if I didn't get to go fast. So I found some information and some eight second sprints are fine. Okay, just make sure you have enough uh, recovery in between. Um, and I mean, if you're going pure, pure Mathetone, you shouldn't really be doing that either. But like I said, I'd be going crazy. So I wanna try out their new harnesses and their new line. You can see how it's completely gives him total, sh well, he's being a butt, but he has total shoulder movement in this one. I say avoid the no pull harnesses because they tend to have a strap that goes right here that holds their shoulders in. Um, not wonderful thing to happen. So full shoulder movement, and enough armpit room here and good size. Now, when you're looking at lines for cane across, you wanna make sure that there is a bungee in your line so this one i don't know if you can see that okay bungee here i actually have three bungees um but it's not recommended for most teams it's just loki doesn't like the static lines so he does better with the three bungee and you get to try it out the bungee helps take some of the shock out of you and your dog. So you always want a bungee when your dog is pulling. Look, Gabe has not forgotten. He's ready to go. You ready? Oh, yes you are. Okay. Easy. Oh. Good job.
have not forgotten a darn thing. And I love it. Good job. So eight second sprints done. I didn't exactly count them, but we did quite a few. And now we're in our cool down and they're hooked in their collars, still wearing their harnesses and they're being amazing. Because they hadn't been in their harnesses since probably May when it was still cool enough to run them on the bike. So it is now August and they still know what they're supposed to do when they're all harnessed up. So when you harness them up, make sure your shoes are tightened and fit right because I didn't have my shoes all the way tight the first time I told them to hike. And that was not comfortable. Um, my toes were slamming into the front of my shoes and you don't want to trip when you're being pulled by a hundred plus pounds of dog. So, yeah. When you're running with your dogs, your dogs are your number one priority. Not your workout, not what you're doing, your dogs. So, if they have to stop, if you notice anything going on with them, if it's too hot, if the ground's too hot, if you don't have water, stop and take them care of them okay if you're not willing to do that if you're not willing to sacrifice some of your training to train your dogs don't bring your dog your dog if it's never been running you're gonna need to work it up you're gonna need to work it up to running just as you originally worked up to running short running short walks short lower miles and built up to it and when you're starting out don't feel bad training your dog on walking first okay start at a walk you don't want to be learning some of your dog's weaknesses when you're running 15, 20 miles an hour. Thank you for watching. And, you know, I hope you learned something or at least enjoyed watching the colorful dogs.